Okay, guys, welcome back. I think we're on episode four, and uh, I'm going into that cave that I skipped. Because... I don't want to skip it. Convicts? Oh, nice. Well, that's new. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I love it. This is such a cool move. Oh, a sadist. You're my kind of guy. You love all this, don't you? Yeah, me beating up on you with this axe. Mmm, take it. I mean, what? Oh, listen here, you. Guns are not allowed by anybody but me. There's tarnished carver. I like it. This is a neat little little cave. I'm glad I didn't. Oh, please stay your weapon, stranger. We're not outlaw, or we're no outlaws. Um, we were captured and put to work here in the mine. Oh, here, here it says free your slaves here. Uh, so it would seem, and nothing is worse to a rover than being confined. We're part of a rover band that set up a camp and secluded part of Whitmar, hoping to avoid trouble, but trouble found us anyway. They captured four of us, but young Larkin and two other men were here already, died from overwork. They just left their bodies down here with us. Rovers follow the path of peace, but I can't help thinking the world is a better place since you sent those outlaws to meet their judgment. I can get you to Devil's Crossing use you're free to go. We will spread where should you ever find yourself in the kind of you always find a place besides take care. Um uh, nice. Sweet. Well, I helped the rovers. A tiny little bit. Listen here, I am not digging you. Like shooting all up on me. That skill's not ready. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, this guy's he ain't no joke neither. Well, let's get you out of the race. Okay. Nice. Steel helm. Okay, let's can I upgrade? Cold resist. Set a spirit. Sight I said no. Crossbow, hang on. Sixteen to forty-five. Hmm. Plus twenty three damage per second if equipped. Let's let's switch it up. Fuck it. Let's drop both of you too. Okay. Huh, ah, that's different. Okay, so that was the cave. Neat. Well, I, I found the rovers, or started my reputation with them. That's okay. Now, let's continue on. I have to find somebody else. There are people that I need to find in here. Let's do the outside first. Yes! Ah, I like this maze. I'm digging this maze. I'm starting to like the way I look. I need a better looking helm. I will admit that. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. Nice knock out a bunch of you guys. Sweet. I was really able to cut you guys up. Uh oh. Uh oh. What up, soldier boy? Oh, you whiffed it. Let's get this on ready. 
Oh, I got 11 to 15. We're almost there. Hmm. Okay. I kind of want to go down, too. I, I want to cover everything before I just start getting ahead of myself. I have this compulsion and this, these type of things to make sure that I, like, look at everything. Vital essence, there we go. I needed some of that for my constitution. Speaking of which... Oh, okay, not speaking of constitution, but... Oh! Do I get to double up? Oh, nice. Healing from the Nintendo Shamans and Spiritual Leader and Guardians of People claiming to stand too much of the walls in there. Devotion. What is this? Okay. Oh, I don't even know what that is. What? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Alright, hang on a second. Nightblade, Arcanist, Demolition. Can I do Soldier again? No. <laughs> This might be good. Might double up as shaman. Soldier shaman. Soldier demolitionist. Soldier shaman. I have three points of it. Okay. What does this do? Okay, we'll put one in there. Out in the wild, one must do whatever it takes to survive. Some shaman conjurers take this lesson hard by conjuring a rich swarm while hungry and tips of anything comes into contact with affected units with vulnerabilities. Okay. You can empower you with niche free when you use as your default weapon attack. Seven to increase the instance. Every shape building up. Huh. I think this might be the better one to go down. Put one in there. And go back into Soldier. Let's see this Blade Arc some more. Nice. Yes. Ascendant, Chaos, Eldric, Order, Primordial. Ascendant beings have risen to godlike status to immense feats of lesser. Okay, so it looks like I like this. Plus 5% health. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm doing. Plus 5% health. Alright, I'm jacked up. I'm strong now. Roar. Yeah, I definitely like this arc. Oh, what is that that just happened? Oh, I wonder if I should start playing some stuff online. Like, with other people. I kind of want to play through one so I can get all the lore before holy shit
titan like a bitch. Ugh. Take that, Retcher, or whatever you are, or used to be. Give me this. Anything up in here? Ooh, what was that? Vigorous musty tune. Give me this. way. Yeah. It's okay. Ooh, the foggy bank. I don't need to be over here. I still need to go find so-and-so's whatever it is. That skill's not ready. Oh, it needs to be, though. Oh, shit. What is that? Nice. Milton Hart. Well, Milton, you look like a big pain in my ass. I can't do that. Oh, so you got a little move there too, huh, Milton? We're gonna go toe to toe. Uh, why do I have a feeling that that isn't working well for me? What is this? Oh. Well, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, there you go. Chase me! the soldiers. Nice. Ah! Take that. Okay. Now that we're done. Hearts Amulet. Scrap. Milton Hearts Note. Bam. I think that was the person I was looking for. Good. Yes, it was. Motherfucker was not easy. Where are you there, Milty Boy? Who are you? You're dead. Alright, was that everybody I was supposed to look for? I think so. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. I don't like you. <laughs> I do like that move, though. Oh, what's up, dog? Where are you going? That skill's not ready. Oh, he's swift, huh? I guess that's a uh, some type of what though. I'm 
doing my best to kite. Got skills not there. Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Bash this motherfucker. Oh man. These guys are tough. They are not easy, like, um, well, I guess I am playing on veteran, so that makes a lot of sense. Okay. My jacket. That skill's not ready. Meyerborn, whatever it is. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I have something on me, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Oh, there's stuff over there I need to go look at. I almost missed this. I wonder if this is the rovers. Travel danger fast path, stranger. The solitary refuge is one of the few safe places left in Whitmire. If you plan to sit out on the road again, perhaps there's a way you could help one another. And what might that be? The Slith are an unnatural creature and poison in the land itself, so it seems the only thing that we should turn some of their vile magic against them. Their shamans carry bone necklaces, primitive things, but they carry primitive power within them. I can weave this power into something more potent for you if you bring me a few of their necklaces and say a hundred iron bits to aid us in return. I will fashion for you a magical ring. What say you? Will these necklace, necklaces suffice? Nice. I will. Reputation with the rovers. Nice! Ah, yes, there's a raw power in these. Thank you. And I got this band. Thank you. You're the first to find so long. You're welcome to warm yourself. Uh, for your when you leave, I ask you to keep this place. I can do that. As long as you do not bring find some place, you're welcome. Any wisdom to share for the road ahead? The material world you see around you is not the limit of reality, nor is this the only realm of existence. Our folk folklore tells of travelers who have found hidden paths and slipped through the veil between realities and paths in other realms of existence. Those who have returned tell fantastic worlds vastly different from our own. The coming of the Ethereals is proof of that, and the rifts that they use to cheat distance and time to travel instantly from place to place are wounds in the veil of reality. We rovers have seen many things, not Ethereal pass through the rifts and enter our world. Even if we could drive them all out, will these wounds ever heal? An interesting tale, what else can you tell? told me the Teutonic cults have been around since before the traveler took to the roads the first traveler took the roads under the empire we were outlawed and driven underground where cults were uncovered by inquisitors and emperor's night blades would be sent to hunt down and execute the practitioners even so they could not be eradicated and now they grow ever more powerful as people flock to them seeking purpose or salvation more troubling though I've heard the tale that the cults have had success in late in calling forth the monstrous servants of their god to walk around, or to walk this world. Blah, blah. Tell me, old man. Many even among our kind have forgotten the truth of our name, Rover. It is an outsider name confused for our true name, Rowari, the people of Rowain. Over time, we've gotten so used to being called Rovers. Many among us have come to favor. We become... We've become a careless, traveling, free folk and lost our sight of our first true path. An interesting tale. What else have you to tell me? Continue. I have to be on my way. Farewell. Okay. Oh, he's got stuff to actually buy. A cultist tomb. We get rid of that. Oh, tell me this is better. 18% chance to blocks. 80 damage. Lock recovery is better. Yep, that's better. Where's that? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I think I skipped over that and that. Let's see. Oh, that's definitely going. Shoulder pads, where the shoulder pads go? 
Nice. Oh, 52 even better. Get rid of that. 10 damage to Beastkin, plus energy per second. 10 elemental resist. Let's see where this... This one? Yeah. Put that on. Nice. Okay. Let's, um... Dirt cover note. Got ourselves a bunch of them idiot rovers wandering in our hide the other night. They were unarmed as they often are. Of course, they tried to run. We jumped them, but little good that did them. Now we have ourselves a few slaves. They in the mine. We can't eat coal, though, for our food supplies. are starting to run out. The rovers barely had a few scraps between them. <clears throat> With the Burbage Bridge destroyed, we're stuck in the swamp. I'm beginning to wonder if perhaps we made a mistake by not following Cronley's gang to the west. Maybe may not be much. Pickens in the wilderness on the other side of Devil's Crossing, but at least they had numbers. Could probably hunt down a decent sized boar. Between the lot of them out here, we got nothing but Slith and the dead. And homeboy's notes. Oh my god, it's long. I'm afraid I'm... Okay. I'm afraid I may have to break a promise I'm not about to give up yet, but things aren't looking good outside. I was lucky to survive that first night when I volunteered to distract the rotten walkers while Bourbon and his group, including my little sister Sybil, made their way through the Devil Crossing. I believe in Bourbon and if Bourbon and if anyone can get through these get those people through, it's him. Before they left, I looked Bourbon in the eye and told him to keep her safe. He put his arm on my shoulder and spoke in that calm, reading sure and tone of his. He told me that I know I'm. Blah, blah, blah. He told me that he would do everything he can, but I had to promise him something too that I would do my damn best to get out of this alive. Well, I've sure got myself into a fine fix. I diverted them walkers all right, but now I'm all hemmed in. I've been hiding in a group of old dilapidated shacks and keep changing position whenever the dead get too close. I can't find a way forward, though, and I'm running out of daylight. The walkers seem stupid generally, but I think they dug out of the riverbanks last night, allowing the water to rush the road out. That's almost as though something is directing them. I'm not done yet and have no intention of dying in this rotting shack. I'm going to try and break free and will go out fighting if I have to. If the worst comes to pass, you're finding this note on my cold corpse please let my sister Sybil know what's come to pass and tell her to be brave I can only hope she made it to Devil's Crossing okay cool so that being the case let's go ahead and <clears throat> rift travel here and let's go back to Devil's Crossing and then let's go return all this Harmon's uh, there's a fire in your eyes and blood on your clothes. I see that you've done your share of the kill and tell me how did it feel? I feel vindicated righteous. Uh, yes. That's what I'd like to hear. If it wasn't for my bum leg, I'd be out there with you, paying others with a good eye and hearing the tales of the uh, speaking of which you should share. Thank you. Gold and scrap. Cool. You killed scores of Shamlin dead, but I think you can do better. The, the Aether corruption creates some truly monstrous mutations. And so they did go out there and hunt them down. Tell me this. Like, All right. Yes. Kill more stuff. I, I Yeah, I can do that. Barnabas. Yeah. Perfect. I'll get the wind pump up and running in no time. Devil's Cross and I'll have safe drinking water again. And it's all thanks to you. First class is on me. Glad I could help. Well, good news is, you got the water pumping again. The only problem is, it smells like a sewer. We're about a tenfold worse. Well, I haven't smelled something this rotten since. Since what? I cleared out a den of slip ages ago. They're loathsome reptiles that make their homes in swamps and dang caves. They secrete a nasty poison into the water that makes it drinkable for them, but nearly always fatal to us. Good iron, there's a nest in that cave that fuels our pump. I'm too old for all this blunking, so I need you to go down there and kill it. Alright, how do I get to the cave? There's a open cellar in the shack behind me, right by that accursed rift gate. It connects to the bowels of the prison, which should lead you to the cave. Find the slith matriarch that's like the pollute in our water supply, and the poison should clear out on its own. You do this. And all the devil's crossing will be honoring your name with every glass. Alright, I'll take care of the slith. Should people ever have anything you can do on your own? Alright. Let's go talk to home, girl. 
You've returned. I see that you carry my brother's amulet. So is it as I feared. Unfortunately, Milton was one of the dead. This is a lot to take in. Milton, I'm sorry, brother. Thank you, stranger. At least I can live knowing my brother is free of all this misery. The amulet was enchanted to keep my brother strong. I think you could use it more than me here. May it bring you luck. I'm sorry for your loss. Nice. Uh, rare amulet plus 5% health. Fat deal city. Mm, okay. Now... What I'm going to do is call the episode here, but I want to go back to my uh, thing because I don't want to backtrack. Oh, there we go. So, remember guys, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'm going to bring you more Grim Dawn, and we're going to... God, look at all this. I didn't really even explore much. I haven't even finished exploring that. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Later, guys.